geometric next then <clears throat> so for a standard geometric distribution parameter p our probability generating function um, can be quoted as uh, pt 1 minus qt again where q is 1 minus p so quotable result from the formula booklet uh, again similar format first part we can just quote that result so we've got fair dice is rolled and tiller six is shown so we've got a geometric distribution with a p-value of one sixth use our standard quotable results substitute your p and q values in and we get one sixth t over one minus five six t as our probability generating function for this Poisson. So the first principles approach for this one, again, we start by using our general definition of a probability generating function, probabilities times t to the x. For a geometric, our probabilities are given by p times 1 minus p to the x minus 1. Okay, a success, um, one success, and x minus 1 fails. Um, so using our... Um, our results remember a geometric will start at x values of x is one up to infinity so substitute in your probability value in place of uh, probability of x and multiply by t to the x okay so um, this is our probabilities for a, a poisson um, and then uh, we can expand going up from x is 1 up to infinity. So um, substitute x is 1 in, substitute x is 2 in, etc. So we get our expanded form of our summation. We can then take out a factor of 1 sixth t, leaving us inside the brackets with uh, this expression. 1 plus 5, 6 t plus 5, 6 t uh, squared times t squared, uh, etc. And again, we could put t uh, inside our brackets, but basically what we've got here is we've got a geometric progression from one term to the next um, with a common ratio of 1, or oh, sorry, 5, 6 t. Uh, so if we find the sum to infinity, of that sequence for a geometric a over 1 minus r, so 1 over 1 minus 5, 6, t. And then we can bring the 1 over 6, t back in, and we've got our uh, result the same as in part 1. So there are very sort of specific methods for each of the distributions for working through and deriving uh, the probability generating function from first principles. Here in these examples, we've looked at it for particular cases of the geometric. We will, at the end of this pack, look at how we go about the derivation uh, for general, the general cases. Okay, but the same sort of process. It's just um, rather than having numerical values for the parameters, we leave the algebra in there. Okay, so you need to basically learn the first principles method for each of the different discrete distributions. So last one of the set, the negative binomial. So again, quotable result. If we've got a negative binomial with parameters r and p, our probability generating function is p times t over 1 minus q times t to the power of r. One thing to notice here is this, for the negative binomial, it's basically the same as the geometric probability generating function, but raised to the power of r. Okay, so it's a geometric probability generation function raised to the power of r, and that's essentially because the negative binomial is r independent geometric distributions. Um, so um, it's worth just being aware of, it's worth mentioning. So here we've got a negative binomial with, n, uh, with r value 3 and p value 0 0.7. So again, just using the quotable result, we can substitute in our p value and our n value and get our formula okay now with regards to the first principles for a negative binomial it's a little bit more complicated and we're going to save that for uh, the last lesson in this pack so uh, we'll deal with that one uh, a bit further on um, in the notes okay so that's it for now on um, on that <laughs>